What's going on YouTube? I have eight tips and eight mistakes that are commonly made when it comes to squatting. I'm gonna go show ahead. Of, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to avoid. It. So starting off with number one is the knee balance. Now, as you can see, my knees were going inward, and that was because due to my feet. Now, if you look at my feet right now, the reason why that was happening is because my toes were pointed straight instead of pointed outward, and also the width of my legs was not as wide as it should be. So, to avoid this, ideally, is you want to have a little bit, you know, shoulder width stance, and you kind of want to point your toes a little more outward. So, when you go down, you see where the, the path of my knee is at. The path of my knee is outward instead of inward because of my toes is facing that same direction as well. So as I'm coming up, my knees should follow in that same type of direction. All right, with that one, that was pretty obvious. It's dealing with the wrist. Now, the reason why this is the common mistake is because you're really not getting the full power that you should be getting with the squat. When your wrist is like this, it's pretty much putting a lot of strain right here. So you want your, you want your wrist to be straight to get that forearm power and also everything else that's connected with this. And also it's lined up with your back as well. So when you squat with a straight wrist, and pretty much you want to rip the damn bar. You don't want a loose wrist. You want a tight, tight wrist to the point where that, that, you know, the bar is not going to roll off your back. That is, a, that is a real common mistake that people do, is they squat like that. Now, if you really want, I, want, I don't want to say a boost, but if you really want to help with your squat, you want to have a nice straight wrist. That's another pretty obvious one. Now with that one, it's going down too fast. And the reason why this is a mistake is because you're, it's, it's not you that's moving the weight, it's your momentum. You're using the very bottom of the squat to bounce you back up. And in my opinion, it's a mistake. And honestly, it's really not a real rep when you actually think about it and actually do it versus when you go at a nice, moderate, controlled pace. So, if you're squatting real fast and you're going down real deep, try to avoid that and try to go at a nice, I want to say maybe a two Mississippi count and then come back up instead of, you know, bouncing back like a damn boomerang. So that's a mistake and go ahead and try to not do it from now on. Called big squats or quarter squats. Now, just I shouldn't even have to explain or should, you know try to show you how to avoid that because that should really be self-explanatory. For one, you're really not getting the full benefit of the squat motion. Honestly, it's really putting a lot of emphasis on your knees for one thing, and for another thing, it just really looks ridiculous when you're doing quarter or one or an eight squat. So try to work on going as the grass, or if not, at least parallel. Trust me, guys, you will benefit a lot by going at least parallel. And then, you know, if you can break that barrier from parallel to ask the grass, go ask the grass, because I promise you, it will feel a lot better, and you will see a lot more growth. And to go ahead and show you, pretty self-explanatory. If you can go here, that's fine. But if you can go here, that's even fine. So, no more of this. No more bitch spots. You want to go at least parallel. But if you got bulls, go ask the grass. Alright. So this one guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and hopefully you guys can spot it. Okay? Watch out because I'm going I'm going quick. Alright, so 
What I'm doing wrong and what is a common mistake is a lot of people, they break at the knees first. And what I mean by that is the knee bends before you break at the hips, which is what you're not supposed to do. So this is what you're not supposed to do. Watch my knees. See how my knees move first before my hips do? You don't want to do that because it's putting a lot of stress in and it's emphasizing on your knee a lot. It's putting all the weight on your knees right now. So what, instead what you want to do, if you want to get on the side of me right now. So what you want to do is watch my hips. My hips are going to break first and then my knees are going to follow. So what you want to do is you want to push your butt out. You see how my, my hips broke out more? My hips are breaking before my knees are bending. So then once you do that, then you can proceed to the squat. Just like that. Okay. All right, so with this one, guys, is having a loose back. And what I mean by that is you want everything tight. When you're preparing for the squat, you want everything tight, meaning from the traps, your scapula, you want, every, you want your scapula to track the first one. But as far as muscles, you want to incorporate all the muscles you can with the squat. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what a loose back I'm going to do the best that I can show you what a loose back looks like. So, So, that's a loose back. And now to show you, now to show you how, what a tight back looks like, it's, it's a whole lot, it's a whole different ordeal. So, okay. so as you can see, I've attracted my scapula. I utilize my traps because I'm a high bar squatter. Low bar might be a little bit different since I'm not a low bar squatter. Uh, maybe the same type of steps, but as far as high bar, uh, since I rested on my traps, you want your traps to be really, really tight and contracted because you gotta keep in mind, when you're squatting a lot of weight, it's all being rested on your back. So you want stability. You want, st you know, you want to be stable as possible. So start squatting with a tight back and I promise you, I promise you, your weight will go up. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what you shouldn't do. All right, so what I wasn't doing, I wasn't breathing. And that is a real, real common mistake in the gym is because you want to breathe regardless of squat, bench, shoulder press, anything. Breathing is it's, it's, it's vital. So since we're talking about the squat specifically, you want to breathe at the top of the movement. So right now, since I'm standing with the weight on my, on my back. So, when you're at the top, you want to go ahead and get that big gas of air. Embrace your core. You want to really embrace your core, and especially if you're using a belt. But that's whole that's whole other topic. So, since I'm beltless right now, but anyway, you want to go ahead and get the big gas of air at the top. And then you want to go ahead and go down while holding the breath. And then as you're going down, Breathe out. Therefore, you won't end up winding yourself and ended up passing out and then somebody doing CPR. <laughs> All right, guys, so the last thing on my list is doing too much weight. And the reason why I say that, honestly, is common sense, is you don't want to do too much weight. You don't want to do weight that is going to potentially kill you. You know, you got to keep yourself humble. When you come into the gym, Stay humble. Do not throw on this big ass ego and think, you know, you're, you're fucking Phil Heath or something, or Ronnie Coleman. No. You wanna, you know, just, just stay humble. I've seen guys mess up, mess up a lot, you know, especially, you know, regarding knees, your lower back, when they do too much weight with shit form and they think they're Superman. So, you know, for instance, me, I know I can't squat 500 yet. So am I gonna attempt 500? No. I will attempt maybe 470, 485, but I'm not gonna go ahead and attempt the weight that I know for sure that I can't get. So, like I said, guys. With that being said, just 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 keep keep yourself humble when you come into the gym. Do not end up in the ER. Do not end up in the news. Do not end up viral on Facebook. Because <laughs> trust and believe me, people will report instead of helping your ass. So you will be looking like a dumbass motherfucker. I promise. So with that being said, guys, just humble yourself. And yeah. So. I hope you guys learn from it, whether it's a little bit, whether it's a lot, and stay tuned for the next video, and I'll catch you guys later.